Welcome back. This is Lauren with TMF Apparel USA, and today we're going to go over turning an image like this one into a halftone image for use with DTF printing. What this is going to do is it's going to put a bunch of itty bitty little holes in there and also allow us to knock out the black for printing it on dark garments without using a crap load of ink. So this will let your print breathe a little bit and give you a little bit better uh, result on these fade areas. Now, I've uploaded here, just brought in this wild looking Beetlejuice image, and it's a JPEG. It's uh, nothing special. It's just gonna be used for our demo. So, the first thing that we are gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna check our image size. Now, our image resolution. On this one, let me pull that over here. As you can see, the resolution is 118. We're gonna wanna pick that 300. That's what we want to do. And it's going to blow our image up, which is fine. We can zoom back out. We've just increased the DPI on this image. Give us a little bit more to work with when we half tone it. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to do, let's go over here to our layer, which is our background layer. We're going to want to duplicate this layer. This is going to be the original image. We're going to duplicate it. And we are going to, it doesn't really matter what you call it. We're going to put it into a new document like so. And now we have the same, same image, new document. What we're going to want to do with this one is remove it and pull it out, right? So we're going to have one next to the other. This is a, a little important for one of the steps that is going to incur, but for now I'm just going to place it in front of it. What we're going to do next, go to image mode. We're going to turn this into a CMYK color image, which is going to flatten it if there were any other layers. Then we're going to go down here to the channels section, click that. Go over to this little uh, three line options bar you can see here. Open it up and it's gonna say split channels. It's a little off my screen. I'm gonna move Photoshop over just a hair so that you can see it. Split channels, right? Now what that did is that took our image. I'm just gonna recenter this. And you can see here outside of our regular document, we now have all of the different color channels that this would normally print. What we're gonna focus on is the uh, name of the document, which is Untitled 7, black. We don't need these other ones. We don't need the cyan. We can close that. We don't need magenta. We can close these out. These are not necessary for what we are doing. We're only worrying about the black layer. Now, as you can see, it says gray. What we want to do next is make these blacks really black. So we're going to go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Pull up our Levels diagram here. And if you're not familiar with this, what we have here is the output levels black to white and you can see these little sliders right and we see the histogram what we want to do is take the black slider on the left and move it into the black histogram and as you can see it immediately got extremely darker and then take the white one and we can move that a little bit over you usually don't have to adjust those too much uh, we just want the black areas to be really dark then we're going to hit ok on that so now we have a basically a extremely over exaggerated black and white image of the same one. Next, we're gonna go to image mode. We're gonna turn this into a bitmap. Our bitmap dialog box pulls up and we're gonna to wanna to check a few things. Our output resolution, we need 300 to match our image. Our pixels versus centimeters, that's fine. Leave that alone. Method, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is on half tone screen. Make sure that is selected. Hit okay. It's going to pull up the next dialog box. Frequency is lines per inch. I usually have this somewhere between 35 and 40. We'll just put 35 in there. Angle, you can leave that at 22 or whatever your factory setting is. And the shape, this is going to be the shape of this halftone screen uh, that's going to be in there. So most of the time, round works pretty well for that. So we just leave it on round or select round. If you don't have it selected, hit OK. And bam, now we have half toned this image and it looks pretty funky, right? And if we zoom in, we're going to see it's got a whole bunch of weirdness stuff happening to it. And that is what our half tone screen will look like. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to select. Oh, we're actually, we're going to go to mode, turn it back to grayscale. You're going to have a little grayscale dialog box come up, size ratio one. Okay. And then we're going to go to select color range, select part of this black on the outside. It's going to be a little dialog box that pops up, shows us what it is, your fuzziness. Usually I have that around 100, kind of in the middle. Click OK. Now that has created a selection 
of all the things that are this color black in the photo. Next, we're going to go over here to our magic wand type selection tool. Click with your left mouse button and drag the selection onto the original. Now, as you can see, when we get back over here, it doesn't quite line up. So you want to make sure it's lined up. And when we look at what we have, we now have a selection of all of these little holes, right? That line up on this document. I'm going to minimize that guy because we don't need it right now. And what I like to do is come over here, duplicate this layer so we have one still preserved. And now we can hit delete. And what we'll see when we do that is this is what the image looks like without all of that in it. And what this does is it removes pretty much all of the black from the photo. If you want to see what it's going to look like on a black background, we can create another layer below it, paint it black. This is our half-toned image. This is our original image, All right? Halftone version, regular version. So if we are to just save out just this version of it, print it just as it is in whichever environment you use or whatever printer you use with your RIP software and place it on a black garment, this will be the end result once it is printed. Now, what you can do, uh, you can fine tune this with your adjustments, with your hue, saturation, your vibrance, your brightness, your contrast, if you need to bump it up or down a little bit. And what this will allow you to do is, let's say I'm using White Rip as the software that I tend to use with uh, my DTG printer. What I like to do is I have different environment settings, some that will print uh, only colors on a white shirt, some that will print no black on a black shirt. Um, if I was going to print this on a DTF sheet, I'd print it in a black environment if it's going on a black shirt. And then my software will automatically remove the black. Now, if I didn't want to do that and I wanted to print it and get more of these um, colors true to their actual color, and I need black ink to do that, I would print it like this. And then I would run it in a dark environment, which uses white, black, uh, CMYK to print everything. And then putting it on a black garment, this would be the outcome. So once you have this pretty much uh, set, you can save this out, you know, export it as a PNG, and then you are ready to party Beetlejuice and just name it something else like DTF or halftone or whatever. And that is how you halftone any image in Photoshop. So if you have any questions about that or need some help outside of this video, feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I hope this helps you uh, achieve your DTF goals. Till next time, see you later.